How many keywords is it good to target on one page? Uh, I don't really look at it anymore as how many keywords to target on one page. I look at it as pages as topics. So a page could be a topic around like starting SEO or beginner's guide to SEO or newbies guide to SEO. And you can talk about all things SEO. Another page could just be on link building because that's what everyone needs to know about link building. Another page could be about, um, you know, creating blog content. Another page could just be about creating social content for Instagram, right? So I look at it as topic based and search engines have adapted to be more keyword focused, to be more topic focused. Right. And at the same time, just as you said, like Google and search engines look at title tags, meta tags, headers. So you look at all this meta right. tags, URLs, uh, titles, which we mentioned, headings, you know, keywords within the article, uh, you know, engagement on that page or a lot of people clicking it and liking it sticking around or they leaving all that kind of stuff internal links backlinks like they paid attention to all this stuff right so Low again timing. if it's so if it is a topic yeah so i'm just trying to kind of split the topic uh between a topic and a and a keyword because the, that yeah. could be a topic is on page seo and a keyword is um a keyword is um, like I, most effective, you, you right? like a long or, tail. Like, yeah, so I, I totally get what you're getting mm, at. Mm. When you focus on topics on your website, focus on a page on a specific topic. So don't focus one page on everything related to SEO. You can have one page um, that's broad that just talks about SEO and then it links to all the subsections of SEO like a page on link building, a page on updating content, a page on improving your load time, and you get very specific. Right. So yeah, so in this case, how would you rank if you're focusing on topic and your competitors are focusing, they're splitting all these micro topics or these keywords by many articles? You need to leverage topic clusters. Yeah, so right. have an overall the best example of this is check out the beginner's guide to SEO by Moss. They'll talk about SEO yeah. on one page and they link to a lot of different subsections on different pages. So in essence, yes, you're talking about a topic, but your topic is being focused on maybe not one keyword, but three, four, five, seven, eight, ten 10 keywords, 20 main keywords, but it's all around the same topic because Google's like a thesaurus. It knows if you're talking about online marketing, you're also talking about internet marketing. If you even if you barely mention the page uh, keyword internet marketing. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm just thinking about. Like we know you and I know that if you split a um, let's say a topic again on page SEO that has, let's say 100 keywords. And if you split these 100 keywords into a few blogs and each of the blogs has internal links, has external links, has backlinks to it, has the right keyword in the URS log, in the title tag, meta tag, header, H1, H2, etc. That blog has a higher has higher chances to rank than a, a topic blog that has all these keywords in it. Uh, yeah, but the topic blog is not one page. It's just, we're, we're saying, I think, the similar thing in which Instead of just focusing on keywords per page, focus on the overall topic. If you're going to talk about SEO, okay, introduction to SEO maybe is one page. Another page is on link building. Another page is on creating content. Another page is improving your site speed. Another page is optimizing your meta tags. So yes, you're getting into subsections of that topic, but it all mm. feeds into one area and that topic cluster would be around SEO, for example, right? Yeah. So th th the overall goal is, yes, you can focus on keywords, but just don't randomly write articles. Think about the whole picture and encompass yeah. everything into it. And the story needs to flow. When someone starts at the top, they should be able to read the rest and understand everything in a congruent manner.